as you rested when your boat was done, we enter your rest by the work of your son.
One afternoon at three o'clock, which is the ninth hour, in the hour of the temple prayers, as Peter and John were going up to the temple, a man crippled since birth was being carried in. Everyday people used to put him at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, so that he could beg from those going into the temple court. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for some money. But they stared straight at him, and Peter said, Look at us! The crippled man fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I don't have silver, and I don't have gold, but what I do have, I give you in the name of Messiah Yeshua of Nazarene. Walk! And taking hold of him by his right hand, Peter pulled him up. Instantly, his feet and ankles became strong, so that he sprang up, stood a moment, and began walking. Then he entered the temple court with them, walking and leaping and praising God. Everyone saw him walking and praising God. They recognized him as the same man who had formerly sat begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were utterly amazed and confounded at what had happened to him. While he clung to Peter and John, all the people came running in in astonishment toward them in wonder and amazement. Seeing this, Peter addressed the people. Men of Israel, why are you amazed at this? Or why do you stare at us as if we had made this man walk through some power or godliness of our own? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers has glorified his servant, Yeshua. This same Yeshua you handed over and disowned before Pilate, even after Pilate had decided to release him. You denied the holy and innocent one and instead asked the reprieve of a murderer. You killed the author of life. But God has raised him from the dead. Of this we are witness and it is through putting trust in his name that his name has given strength to this man whom you see and know. Yes, it is the trust that comes through Yeshua which has given him this perfect healing in the presence of you all. Sometimes when life's trials hit us, we feel forgotten. I want you to know that God hasn't forgotten you. Just as he cares for the lilies of the field and the birds of the air, he cares for you so much more. He wants to be involved because he loves us just that much. Why should I feel Discouraged Why should the shadows come Why should my heart Be lonely And long for heaven When Jesus leaves my portion, my constant friend is he. His eyes on 
the sparrow, and I know he watches me. In his eyes on the sparrow, and I know he When songs give way to sighing and talk within time, I draw closer to him. From care he sets me free, his eyes on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I see because I'm happy. I see because I am free for his eyes on the sky. And I know. Because I am free Yes, I know he's watching. I know he's watching over me. Found in 